Welcome to the final part of my tutorial on how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Revenge Cube. At this point, you are going to occur with a parity error. And now I'm going to show you, and in my last step I didn't uh, fill it in like a normal 3x3, like I didn't do it on camera, because I think you should already be able to fill it in like a normal 3x3. So, what you do is you use these two long algorithms for these two parity cases. And here's the first parity case that will occur. So, this is the algorithm you use to fix this parity case. The algorithm is 2u star, 2l star, 2u, 2 little l. 2u, 2l star, 2u star, f prime, u prime, f, u, f, r prime, 2f, u, f, u, f prime, u prime, f, r. And that will solve the first parity case. And here is the second parity case that's most likely to occur. Alright, here is the second parity case that is most likely to occur. It's when the rest of the cube is solved, just these two edges here need to be flipped and the algorithm for this one is 2r star 2b oh so, sorry we'll start that algorithm again 2r star 2b 2u l star 2u, r prime star, 2u, r, sorry, r star, 2u, 2f, r star, 2f, l prime star, 2b, 2r star and you should be able to fill it in like normal after that so I'm just going to want to fill it in like normal Alright, again like normal, just fill it in like a 3x3. Three three. And that will solve your parity cases. Now I've covered two parity cases there. Dan Brown, his username is Pogobat. He will cover the remaining parity cases. Because these are the only two that occur with me. So I hope I helped you in solving your parity cases on your 4x4x4 four 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 Rubik's Revenge Cube. Bye, everyone.